Hello, I'm Joanne Peary with Premier Tech Horticulture's Grower Services Division. I'm here today to talk a little bit about tissue and media analysis. All of us as growers know that uh, nutrients issues are probably the hardest thing for us to try to identify in the crop and the tissue and media analysis is one of those tools that help us to identify those problems and to correct them before they actually become an issue with our crop. What we'll do first is take a uh, tissue analysis. Now the tissue analysis, if you take your plant, you do not want to just go to wherever you think the damaged leaves are. That is not what you want to do. That may be your tempt. Uh, you may be tempted to do that, but what you really like to do is take the first fully opened leaves off of the plant. What we want to do is take a few leaves off of each plant, off of all uh, five to 20 plants that you're taking to get a good representative of. So what you want to do is take your little cutting, try, you do not want to have the petiole, you want just the leaf. Take a few leaves from each plant, we're talking the first fully opened leaves, a couple of leaves from each plant, and what you want for your foliage, you want to collect a minimum of one cup of material. If you've got uh, plants that are looking really good and basically that same crop in another area of your greenhouse that is not looking very good, go ahead and take a sample off of each of them. Keep the two separately and when you uh, label your, your samples, make sure you label them well so that you can determine when the results come back in, which ones were the good plants and which ones were showing the, the symptoms of, of problems so that you can try to identify what the problem is. Once you've gotten a cup full, you want to put it in a paper bag. You do not want to put it in a plastic bag, you'll start having it turn into slime by the time it gets to the lab. Put it into your paper bag and label your paper bag and close it up. If the leaves by chance have any residue on them from either a fertilizer application, a fungicide application, an insecticide application, or even just soil that has fallen on them from hanging baskets above, rinse the foliage off before you put it in the bag. Rinse it off, let it dry off, put it in the bag and label it. Now to take your soil sample, what you want to do is taking the same random uh, 5 to 20 plants, knock the plant out of the pot. You do not want to take the soil from the bottom third of the pot, nor do you want to take it from the top third of the pot. You want it right in the middle where the root zone is. Avoid getting roots in the soil in your sample if possible. It's very difficult in most instances, but try to avoid it. What you want to do from each of your containers, go towards the middle, shake out a little bit of the soil, not enough to destroy the plant, just enough to get a little bit out of there. You can put them back in its pot. Take your next sample and do the same thing. Take, not from the top, not from the bottom, right from the middle. A little bit in each one of them. Put it in your container. Once you've, you've accumulated two cups worth of, of soil, mix it all together. Now this time you do want to use a plastic bag put it in your plastic bag, and again, label it very clearly. If you have any questions about how to take soil or tissue samples, please contact Premier Tech Grower Services, and we'd be more than happy to help you. For more information about ProMix, visit our website and follow us on social media.